Welcome back to the channel. We've just pulled up outside the range and I can't even remember the last time I've been in the range and I've seen loads of stuff on TikTok. It looks like it's giving at the moment. Ignore the little air freshener by the way. Um, yeah, like I've seen a lot of really good garden furniture, things like that, like barbecue seasons coming up, loads of barbecues, things like that. So yeah, I wanna go check it out in person. It's absolutely heaving. So a little bit nervy about filming inside, but we'll see how we go. For those who are local to Cardiff area, we actually went to the Newport one because the one on Newport Road in Cardiff, I've never been in, but from the outside, it just doesn't look very good, does it? No. It's always been really empty every time we've driven past it. So we've tripped out to the Newport, Newport one. one. Yeah, so let's head in mm -hmm. and see what they've got on offer. Yeah. Oh god, sun's out now. <laughs> this is quite a nice print, actually. It's like you get the print with the mounting. Oh, actually, that's all like linen-y yeah. and then the frame as well. And it's like a decent size. Steve for size reference. <laughs> um, that's only six pounds. Really yeah, that's crazy cheap. And they've got this one as well, which is like a fabric. And then this is all... Well, that's a whole... <laughs> 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 yeah, it's got like the lines all stitched on. That one's nine pounds. I actually really like that print. What do you think of this one? I actually do quite like it. It's actually, yeah. oh, it's got glitter on it. I, oh no. It is, yeah. It's 12 pounds, comes like, is it a canvas? Yeah. So. Yeah. It's like a boxed frame canvas and it's so nice. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so annoying. If that didn't have the glitter on, I'd be buying that. That's cute, bit more like, I don't know. Old person vibe. <laughs> okay, sure. This is quite a good mirror. People always ask where our bathroom mirrors are from and we normally go Ikea. It's very I th similar, right? Yeah, 80 centimetre mirror, just like simple black frame. That one's 33 pounds, which I think might be a little bit cheaper than Ikea actually. Yeah, and they've got a smaller version of that. Oh yeah. 30 quid for the smaller one. Does it say how big it is? Oh my gosh, stop, stop. That's, can you go stand in front of that to see how big it is? This mirror is huge. It's 120 pounds, but that is like an insane price for a mirror that big. That is such a good price. It's got like a metal, just a really simple black metal frame. Why have we never, why have we never shopped here before? Look at that one as well. I really like that. 80 pounds for that big, like organic pebbly shape one. That's really nice. And they've got the crystal style. That one's 75. And they've also got the big one in the gold as well. Now we know where we're gonna go for our next big mirror purchase. I guess here. This is what I wanted to look at. Yeah, I don't really know if that's a good price, 315 quid. That one's got a smoker, which we wouldn't really, nah. This is probably a little bit more realistic of like, I think that would be enough, isn't it? Yeah, it's cute. Really like this. It's like a, um, like an outdoor fire thing. I'm sorry, when I looked, I thought these two were attached. I thought it was like... No, these are like little chimneys. So that one's 130 quid, which doesn't seem like a very good price to me, but I don't know. They do a nice little like square one as well. 
yeah 70 pounds see that seems like a better price oh i've spotted some artificial plants you guys always ask where ours are from they're not from here but these are pretty good 40 quid for this massive like ficus tree yeah they're huge and that one oh my gosh that one looks like the one that we've got in our lounge doesn't it and the trunk looks really really real doesn't it yeah, it feels real as well does that one have a price tag on it We'll grab it then. Oh god. oh god, oh god, don't bring all of them. Are you gonna be all right wheeling that round? We will be all right. You the real MVP, babe. Right, we've only just started shopping and we're already dropping 40 quid. <laughs> Another thing I'm here for, the garden setups. Look at this. I really like that. What do you think of that? Yeah. It's quite spenny. Is it not very comfy? It's okay, it feels cheaper. Yeah. It's 1,700 pounds, which is quite a lot. This one's on sale. Yeah, it really is expensive. Like, this is quite, mm, I don't know if I like this or not. 700 pounds in the sale, and you get a table and six chairs. That is quite nice. We've got loads of stuff here. Yeah. I always see stuff online and I've always been tempted. This is probably more in our kind of price range. So this is 700 quid, but this is good because this can double up as a dining table. So it can be chilled sofa vibes mm. or barbecue eat outside vibes, which is good. And 700 quid is a lot better. Oh, I think that's the one over there that I want to look at. Stop, it's in the sale. So I think this one, they've got one where you can like change the configuration. I don't think that is this one. 350 pounds. Because also this table here, you can flip it over and use it as a side table or have it as a coffee table. You put it like, so you could put your laptop on it or something. Yeah, Is it comfy? Yeah. No, I'm mowing at you, babe. You're carrying a little tree round. I, I did say to him that we could get it at the end and he said, no, this is, this is why I like. I think this one looks really nice. It's got a little shade, babe. Yeah, it's got like a footstool coffee table. It pulls out. It looks really nice. This is expensive. Yeah, it's a bit lower down. 1,300, but it does look very expensive, doesn't it? This is also very nice, 500 quid. For a little bench set and it looks like it's made out of like composite so there's no upkeep or anything on that they've got cute little like boucle door stops that's really nice actually Sharper. Oh, you're right, babe. <laughs> That's really sweet. That little wicker magazine rack is ten pounds. Oh, this is lush as well. This terracotta pot. $12.99. Oh, that's really nice. I don't know where I would put that or what I would put in it, but it is very cute. These 
these are really sweet, Steve. They do loads of um, dried flowers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, these are really nice. They've got some dried eucalyptus, two ninety nine a pack. That's really nice. Oh, that smells really good as well. Does that smell nice? That seems really cheap, though. Right? Yeah, I think that sounds really cheap. It doesn't last forever, but that is really nice. Maybe we should get like some little dried flowers to go on our dining table. These ones are a bit more expensive, four ninety nine. They won't die as quick as the real flowers, will they? Yeah, I imagine they probably last like maybe a year or two. I'm not entirely sure. We've got some dried ones in our bathroom actually. And they're about a year old and they're still great. They do some great artificial stuff as well. Like these are artificial. They look really real actually. That is £15 for a bouquet. food canisters and stuff. I like these ones up here with the little, um, like the little handles on top. So it's $5.99 for a big one, $3.99 for a small one. And they've got all sorts of chopping boards in here. Oh, I've got these, I think. You've got something very similar to that, for sure. Yeah, very, very similar. Oh, this is nice. This is huge, this chopping board. That's a great price. $12.99 for the black one and yeah. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Ooing and ahhing over a glass purchase. They do these wine glasses and they've got like ribbed detail. How much are they? $14.99 for a pack of four. I think that's really good. We want to move house at some point in the future, so I feel like buying wine glasses now is probably a bad decision. And they do the matching tumblers as well there. Uh, I didn't realise they did kitchens. What? What? This is a nice colour. This is a nice colour. It's like a really nice kind of like charcoal. But all these worktops as well. Oh, these are like our worktops. I think they're like a acrylic type. They're not. That one's nice, isn't it? Yeah, this is a, like, in case anyone's not seen our kitchen, we have a worktop similar to this, where it kind of looks like stone, but it's actually like a solid laminate. Um, but you can still cut drainer grooves and stuff into it. You can still do undermount sinks, which you can't do with a laminate, but it's way, way cheaper than if you were to get like marble or quartz or anything. Hello. £270. That's not actually that bad. Are you okay? Yes. I like these chairs, but I don't like that gold frame on it. Like, that's what makes it look cheaper. 140 quid. Chairs are expensive though, aren't they?
I know. I think we're done. Yeah. Yeah, let's go check out. Cool. <sighs> <laughs> okay, so the range is definitely going to be in the rotation now. I don't know why I haven't really been before. I normally go B&M, Home Sense, Dunelm, those are like my go-tos. But there was so much good stuff in there. I felt like I didn't film a lot. I was like genuinely like shopping and stuff. But we've got some goodies that we weren't planning on getting. But they were too good to turn down. So we've got some goodies. We're going to drive home now, show you everything. The one in... um. I'm trying to compare it to the one that we used to go to, not used to go to, but like have previously been to in Bristol. Mm -hmm. It's quite a good size, this one. So that store's huge. Mm. That store yeah. is huge. Generally. It is really good. Um, but yeah, the, the garden furniture is where it's at. <laughs> there is so much. And I actually think the prices, garden furniture is always really, really expensive. But for what it was, like honestly... I thought it was a pretty good price. So we're kind of ooing and ahhing whether we invest in something like that now, because in the future we do want to move house. So like, is there any point in us getting anything now? So very tempting. But anyway, let's drive home and I'll show you all the goodies that we got. Right, we've just gotten back. So the doggies are still very excited to see us. The weather today is crazy. It was brilliant sunshine this morning. Then it started to spit a little bit. We got in the car earlier, yes, hello, um, and it started hailing, like we had a massive hailstorm. Now it's like beautiful sunshine again. It just honestly can't make up its mind, but I'm not complaining about the sunshine because we're here for it. Um, like I said, like I don't know why I don't go to the range normally because there were some real good bits in there. And it's like a, I guess like maybe a nicer version of B&M. I don't know. You guys can fight me on that one. I thought it was a really, really good, awesome range of stuff. And like I said, the garden stuff was on point. Loads of Easter bits as well. So I'll show you the bits that I got. We grabbed two of these bunches of dried flowers. By the way, I'm on a new camera setup today and I had a little microphone and I'm hoping the audio is all right. I guess I'll see when I edit this. But I did say in store that we basically, in spring and summer, like we always try and have flowers on our dining table, just makes you feel like a bit happier, but you have to buy them literally like every other week. And it kind of adds up. So I saw these, I thought these were really cute and the sun is so bright, you can't see them that well, but it's just like a little kind of spring dried flower bunch. So I got two of them, they were five pounds each. The dried eucalyptus was super tempting as well, but I wanted something that had like a little bit of color in this. And um, it's got like bits of pink and kind of like slightly more yellow tones. So I thought that'd be a bit nicer. I'm not sure how, how long these will last. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Um, we do have some dried stuff in our bathroom, which is from Dunelm. And we've had that for a year and it looks exactly like the day that we bought it. So I'm hoping these I mean, for £10 for all of this, I'm hoping it's like a good kind of investment piece. Something else that I got, and I've, I've looked in several shops for this, but I just wanted some kind of like room spray, fabric slash room freshener spray. We've got two dogs. You guys know how it is. Sometimes I feel like stuff just doesn't smell as fresh as it could, even when you've cleaned and everything. So I, I've run out. So I got some of this and everywhere that I've been has... The aerosol ones and i just don't like them as much i like the actual squirty like liquid ones this is fabulosa um which i do absolutely love and b m um do loads of fabulosa stuff but i went to b m yesterday i couldn't find any so this one is daisy chain kills 99.9 .9 of bacteria and viruses eliminates odors and it's room and fabric freshener i did do a little spray of this in store Oh, that smells really nice. It's just like a nice, fresh spring scent, but not too flowery. I can't find the receipt. I lost it in the car. Um, but I think this was only like a couple of quid. It wasn't much. You all right, Rocky? He had a bath earlier. He looks a little bit <laughs> disheveled. Another thing I grabbed is a big thing of tea lights. So they had like 20 tea lights for, I think, £1.50. Or you got a whole bag of 100 which I think was £3.70 or something like that. 
So I got a whole bag. I use these for my wax melt burners because I find that if you have cooking smells and stuff for me, that's like the best way to get rid of cooking smells is just do a little wax melt burner situation. So yeah, stocked up on those. And then the biggest purchase is this guy right here. So as you guys would have seen, we saw these artificial plants in store. And I don't know if you can see the one in the corner over there. That is a artificial ficus tree. And you guys ask me all the time, where did I get that from? And I feel really guilty that I can't give an answer because my mum had it for years and years and years. She didn't want it anymore, so she gave it to me. I think she said she originally got it from Dunelm, I think is what she told me. But I have never seen anything that's like a good price point that is as good a quality as that one until I saw this. My normal go-to for artificial trees and plants is actually Matalan, because I do some really good ones. But this is the best deal I have ever seen. So they have... This is another ficus one. <laughs> Doing a really bad job of filming this. It looks really real. Like it, it, it is a really good artificial plant. And the thing that normally gives it away is like the trunks and stuff. Like even up close, it looks like a real like wood trunk. It's It looks insanely good. This is huge. It's huge. I think it's over six foot tall. It's massive. It was $39.99. They had um the ficus ones those were 39.99 and they had another style and i can't remember the name of the plant um and i checked with the woman and she said that those were a little bit more i think she said they were like 49.99 so i preferred this one anyway to be honest i think these always look a little bit more realistic and i like the kind of tone of these leaves um but yeah, 39.99. Honestly, like a lot of stores that you go to for a really big angle this a bit better. For a really big artificial tree, like even on Amazon, you're looking at like 80 quid sometimes or more. I can now kind of feel like I should have gotten two. I've got no idea where this is gonna live. I'm thinking the kitchen, and I might move some of my smaller ones, maybe into some of the bedrooms. I might put one in Steve's office actually. We're gonna have a reshuffle, we're gonna make it worth like work. Genuinely, I'm thinking about getting another one of these. There, there are only two left of this type. Hopefully they just always have them in store. I will see all the bits I got. I'll see if I can find them online because I know that the range has like a good online store. So I'll see if I can link it all down below. Also, we need to talk about the mirrors. Like, <laughs> why hasn't nobody ever told me about the mirrors in the range? They had huge, really good mirrors. Like I saw there was a huge arch one. And again, for like a massive floor kind of, you know what I mean guys, like a floor standing mirror of that size, like I would expect to pay like 200 quid. Even if you go somewhere like HomeSense, they're really expensive. And I can't remember how much it was, like 110, 20, like I can't believe I didn't know about this before. So if you're on the hunt for artificial plants, garden furniture or huge mirrors or even just nice like organic mirrors the range is where it's at um yeah i if you can't tell i'm buzzing that i am now like a range girl because yeah i just i have literally never considered it before um but yeah like i said i will link these bits down below if i can find them online um but i hope this video has been helpful maybe there are some guys out there who don't consider the range like i do start considering because it was sick. Um, I've got more videos coming up, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you don't miss a future upload. I'm also posting fashion videos over on my main account again. So if you guys wanna go check out some like plus size fashion bits, make sure you go subscribe over there as well. And I will see you guys in the next one.